Today is a very big day for the Modern Warfare beta. First of all, the beta is now open, which means you don't have to pre-order the game to hop in and play. All you got to do is log into your PlayStation, go to the store, download it for 100% free, and anyone can play it. On top of that, the level cap has now increased from 10 to 20, which means there's new weapons, perks, and abilities that are available in the game. Now, on top of all of that, they have listened to everyone and have reintroduced the minimap with a little bit of a twist. Now, the minimap will not show red dots when your enemies shoot their weapons. I think this is a pretty good middle ground compared to before when there was just no minimap unless you had a UAV open. But that's not actually what I wanted to talk about today. Something that a lot of you who follow the channel will know. In Call of Duty, I love the story. Whether that be the campaign or like we saw in Black Ops 3 and 4, the background of all of the specialist characters. Now, in Modern Warfare, there are not specialist characters, but something else called operators. And as it turns out, every single one of these operators has a little bit of a backstory to go with them as well. Now, in the beta, we actually have eight different operators available to us, and each of them I have a little bit of backstory for. So, if you like stories like I do, sit back, relax, and enjoy, and I present to you the secret stories of the operators in Modern Warfare. Oh, just one quick thing before we dive into the stories, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be doing a live stream tonight as soon as this video goes live, and it's an open lobby. And like I said, the beta is open, which means any of you who have a PlayStation are actually able to play with me. So if you want to play some games with me or check out my live stream, it'll be the first link down in the description. Like I said, as soon as this video goes live, I will be live streaming, so hopefully I see you there. So in Modern Warfare, the operators are divided into two different divisions, the Coalition and the Allegiance. And as of right now, all we know about these guys is that they are in constant opposition of each other. I'm assuming once the campaign or even Spec Ops comes out, we'll find a little bit more about these two divisions. So let's start out with the Coalition, and the Coalition is divided into three different factions, the SAS, Warcom, and Demon Dogs. As of right now, we only have operators within the SAS and Demon Dogs. So to start things out, let's start out with Thorn. So Thorn's faction is the SAS and his citizenship is to the United Kingdom. Now as far as his background, he is known amongst his peers as Union Jack, not as Thorn. Now we do know that he served with distinction under Captain Price for three years until the transfer for ethical disagreements. Now this is interesting. This might be something we actually get to see within the Modern Warfare campaign. Now after working with Captain Price, he ended up choosing the officer track and achieved the rank of Lieutenant, handpicked by the SAS for the Coalition Division. The next character we have also falls under the SAS division, and her story is a little bit more confusing. First of all, her citizenship is in Scotland, but she was raised on trips to Africa with her father, where she wouldn't hunt for animals, but rather, she would hunt for poachers in both Kenya and Tanzania. Now, she is an expert tracker and joined the British Army, passed selection for the SRR, which stands for the Specialized Reconnaissance Regiment, which basically specializes in covert surveillance and reconnaissance. Now, she also helped liberate a CIA safe house, earning a friend in Kate Laswell. Now, as of right now, not knowing the campaign or not knowing Spec Ops, I have no idea who Kate Laswell is. I kind of have a guess that it may be the other person in the SAS division who is known as Otter, but we'll have to wait to see what that's all about. Now, moving on to the next division, the Demon Dogs. Now, I tried to look up what the Demon Dogs actually were, and the only thing I found close to that is the Devil Dogs, which is part of the US. Marine Corps. So I'm guessing all of the characters in this division are going to be from the United States. Speaking of which, the first character we have here in the Demon Dogs is D-Day. So D-Day is from the United States and his background is he's a West Texas native, served in the Army Rangers in Afghanistan pre-post the Iraq War. Now D-Day was discharged from the Rangers Section 8 after failed rescue attempt of a teammate. Now, a Section 8 discharge is actually because they deem that soldier mentally unfit to serve in the army, which is a pretty interesting backstory. After this, he returned to Afghanistan working for a private military company, where he was recruited by Alice to join the Demon Dogs. Which, by the way, Alice is the other blacked out character within the Demon Dogs. The last character of the Coalition is once again in the Demon Dogs and from the United States. 
This character is Reigns, and he is born and raised in Chicago. He was actually expelled from high school after defending a fellow student. He is a self-taught student of history and joined the Marine Corps and actually qualified for the GI Bill, which is basically a scholarship for people who served in the military. But he decided to go career instead and stay in the USMC. After this, he served in the Iraq and Afghanistan war as a Marine Raider. There's specifically the Marines that do those missions where they land on shore with those rubber boats, the kind of classic Marine that you picture for movies. So that's all the characters from the Coalition. Now we're going to move on to the Allegiance. So the first character we have here is called Minotaur, and this character is actually in the Spetsnaz faction, and he is from Russia. Now, his backstory is he saved countless lives during a hospital siege during the Second Chechnyan War. And as it turns out, I actually did a little bit of research. This was actually a real world event that actually happened. Basically, what this was was a terrorist attack by Chechnyans in Russia on a hospital where 61 soldiers ended up saving the lives of 255 hostages. I'm actually kind of surprised that they put real life events into these characters' backstories, but all in all, it's pretty damn cool. Now, after this event, he was placed on an extended psychiatric leave, what seems to be a common thing amongst these operators. After this, he traveled to Southeast Asia, where he actually had several warrants for his arrest, though. After this, he was called back into service by Captain Bale, who is once again a nether blacked out character in the Spetsnaz characters, but he was called in to expel Al Katala. I might have butchered that name from Verdansk. And I believe this Al Katala guy may actually be the main bad guy in the Modern Warfare campaign. Our next character's name is Zane, and his faction is the Jackals. This character is from the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and his backstory is this. Former Nigerian army witnessed atrocities committed by Al Katala, once again that same bad guy that we talked about before. He defected after he accused the government of keeping funds meant to fight Al Katala. Zane then formed the Jackals to defend Africa from Al Katala, and he funded it by the black market oil in Africa. He is classified as a terrorist. Meanwhile, it's interesting, it appears as though he's actually fighting the terrorists. Now after this, we have my personal favorite character. He is named Kruger. Now he is part of the faction called Chimera, and he is originally from Austria. His story is interesting. So he is Austrian born and fled to Germany to evade murder charges. He served with the KSK under a false ID. And basically the KSK is the German special forces. Now. He served there until he was on a mission that went wrong, where civilians died and his identity was discovered. Now, he escaped from custody before he was court-martialed, but he maintains that he was innocent of both the original murder charges and the mission that went wrong. Now, this is something I want to see. I really hope that these characters do have cutscenes and we can get a little more information about this mission that went wrong. Now, going from the most interesting character to the least interesting character, the last character we have to look at who is part of the Chimera is Sid. Now, she was born in Washington, D.C. to a wealthy family of politicians. She joined the U.S. Army at 18 and her family had her stationed in Bulgaria. She served in full enlistment after which she traveled for five years off the grid, fighting in conflict zones from Eastern Europe to Africa. That's it. That's her whole story. Now, I do think that a lot of these characters' backstories are really interesting, and I'm wondering how they're going to be explored more. Part of me thinks that since we've heard nothing about Spec Ops, maybe these individual characters' stories are actually explored there, and we're going to find more about them. Maybe there'll even be cutscenes. But at the same time, with the name Al Katala showing up so many times in these specialist characters' stories, I wonder whether or not we're going to see some of these guys in the actual campaign as well. All in all, I find it pretty interesting, and maybe I'll cover these more in the future. So if you do find these videos enjoyable, you like to hear about the backstories, make sure you hit that like button. It'll show me that you want to see more videos like this one. Also, on top of that, let me know which character you think has the best story down in the comments below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, like what you see here and want to see more, the best way to stay up to date on all my videos and stay up to date with everything Modern Warfare is to hit that subscribe button and make sure you have notifications turned on. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are rich.